So we raced this, and this was Mike's baby. And my memory was me, but maybe your memory is different. But I remember one time, and I'll just say it with you because it doesn't matter. We were going to beat Mike in the 400, four up, four down. Right? Do you remember this? Right? You come to the wall. We were going to beat it. We're going to beat him. We're ahead. You're going to beat Mike. We touched the wall. Guess what Mike did? He did a flip turn. Oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> and he, he did it. He did it just to put that little seed of doubt because he wanted to make sure, hey, I'm I'm the champion here. I'm I'm the best one. I don't lose this race. Mm-hmm. And, he, and so he, just that little seed of doubt is stuff that, that that's what helped him be, be who he was, right, which is Olympic champion, gold medalist world swimmer of the year, those little things. And that's where I go back to, you need to know yourself and know, are this the type of swimming that you want to do, right? And that's okay. But understand that, like, I think all those things, like to me, meant a lot to Mike. And, okay. and he would he would throw, that's why he called it, that's where the words come from, mental bullets at you, to kind of doubt you and, and you know, know and, and kind of go, I am the best, right? When, when athletes come to the stick box and they're getting ready to race, right? That Michael Phelps, the video, the picture we just saw, like they, 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 they strut out. Another great story. Seth Van Neerden walked out on the pool deck. I think it was 1994. Did the hundred breaststroke. He walked out. His chest was sticking out. He walked down there. He knew. He knew what he was going to do. Boom! He broke the world record or American record. Sorry. Then I didn't make the team, but he went to world championships. My good friend Mark went to world championships. Seth didn't swim that well. So I remember I called, I called Mark. I was talking about, I'm like, hey, Mark, how did Seth walk on the pool deck for the finals of that race or, or the prelims? Right. Was he the same way? And the answer was he was not. Sure. Oh, he was put on. He was real serious. Mm-hmm. So to me, that's what I look at before the race. Right. How do you act? What's your strategy? What's your plan as a swimmer? How are you going to go about doing it? So when Seth had that confidence, yeah, he was incredible. He was an incredible breaststroker, right? But then when he went to that world championships, he, he didn't have that same thing. And so to me, I'm like, that's the key. That's one of the key things. Do you believe in yourself, regardless of your environment and what's happening? What do you think about that story of Sergio? Oh, I love it. I, and I think one of the things that I always tell the swimmers is like, it, what's most important is try to understand how to express yourself because swimming is an art anything that you do like this, but you go to the Olympics and you have 10,000 people in, in the stands and you have to be able to express yourself. And that's a very important thing. Expressing yourself is forgetting about every condition that everybody else is putting on you, you know, like like the mental bullets, the, the press, the, the competition and, and all that. So, so you have to be confident. And the problem that I think is that the, the better you get, the more insecurities you get. Because you, you you lose ownership of who you are, and that's that's for another talk that we can have. Okay. But, but I, I I agree with you with with all that is you need to walk on the pool deck, respecting your competition, I guess, but knowing that you own that place. You know, at the eighty eight Olympics, you know, my best time in the hundred breaststroke was one oh six before the race. You know, uh, you compete against guys; they have gone one oh one, one oh two, and. I knew that it, it, I made the, the, the final and nobody expected me to make the final. And I knew that if if I, I had two Russian guys next to me that they were very fast. And if I play my strategy well and I wasn't nervous, I just stay the course. And I, whenever I had to do the my move, I make my move, I could be, I could be right there. Uh, and now because I got a medal, I can tell you that I knew that I was going to win a medal. But I remember this is I never told this. I don't know if I mentioned it to you. On the bus from the Olympic Village to the to the finals, uh, I was sitting on the bus and uh, Mike Berman walked up, and and when I saw his face and the way his body language, I knew that I could beat him, and he was the favorite to win. Yeah. And and to me, uh, you know, I lost that at ninety two Olympics. I had so much internal pressure that I was not able to separate myself from things i'm not saying that i would have beat mike but i, I you know getting fourth swimming a second point two or second point three slower than your best time you know i knew that i could have done a little bit better maybe get third or second again and i was the one that i couldn't figure it out i was so blocked out and that's a very important thing to learn 